Hey, hey everyone, welcome to another another day, right? It's, it's another day of just ugh, pure, boring, uh, nothingness, right? I hope y'all's Monday started out alright, I hope Tuesday's going well. I'm just here, uh, chilling, uh, you know, looking for other jobs. Uh, in on in on the uh, computer web internet and just uh, I don't know just chilling trying to I guess relax my body's in constant fear but it's always tired <laughs> so it's this nice little oxy uh, moron or irony whatever you want to call it um, I guess we could look at the news I know Target Target and uh, what is it? Bud Light are still in the news because they're losing all these sales for uh, going so hard with Pride Month. Like, you know, I get, you know, changing your your fucking logo to a rainbow or whatever. That's fine. But they're really like doubling down on all this stuff. And I guess people are kind of oh, obviously sick of it. You know, I feel like even, you know, some of the gay people are like, OK, like you know, it's a little too much, but, um, the way, uh, these people are handling Target by, like, going in and just fucking up, uh, (laughs) pride displays, but then you have, like, on the other side, people going in and just robbing the place, so it's like, what, what would you rather have, you know, like, you can't really win that shit, Target, you know, because I know I've seen videos of people just going in with trash bags, And just robbing Target of, like, all their shit. No one's gonna really, like, try and stop you. Well, they shouldn't. uh, Because, you know, it's not worth it. Losing... You would lose your job, but it's not worth losing your life. Trying to fucking, you know, uh, stop this couple from stealing, I don't know, baby formula or fucking uh, batteries or cough medicine. Whatever they take a lot of nowadays. Or hair gel. (laughs) I don't know. But, um, these whites, and they're mostly whites, I believe, you know, going in and fucking with the, the pride displays, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's just as bad, you know, like, just, just don't shop there, like, that's all you gotta do, don't shop there, I don't shop at Target, because they don't ever have, really have any good coupons, uh, I I don't even steal from Target, just because I can't really go anywhere, but yeah, like I don't know. I I <laughs> I just haven't I I don't know. There are better places to shop, better places to steal. Steal from. Oh, man, it's late. Sorry guys. Um I know Kohl's is getting backlash and so is uh I think PetSmart, is it? Uh yeah, I think PetSmart is getting shit too cuz you know Kohl's has pride stuff. And then fucking um, uh, PetSmart has pride stuff for your animals and shit. Which everyone's like starting to do all this backlash on too. And again, I'm like, I don't know, whatever. Like, who who cares? (laughs) Like, people still, like, why are you shopping at these places when Amazon literally sells everything? You know, like, I don't know who goes to... um, to these uh fucking stores and still shops there you know but uh, i guess people do i don't know i don't know i don't really care i'm broke i uh can't go anywhere so it doesn't really affect me so i'm 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 not really like one to like talk about it but i'm just like eh, whatever it's shit you know um i think i talked about this the other day Uh, the ugandan president Signs a law imposing death penalty for aggravated homosexuality. Which is like... Uh... I don't know. Is is that what's going on with Pride... With (laughs) Target's Pride Month? They're aggravating... Aggravated homosexuality. Like... You know... Uh... Fucking shoving it down our throats. (laughs) Like literally. Is that... Is that what they mean by aggravated homosexuality? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get what they mean by that. Like, can you just be regularly homosexual and not, you know, uh, aggravated? But 
I'm sure they have their own definition for it, and I'm sure just being gay is good enough, and they'll they'll fucking uh kill you over there in Uganda. So, you know, try not to be gay over there, because <laughs> they they're gonna get you. They're gonna get you. Um, I'm sure they have other things to worry about though than just being gay. You know, um, uh, think uh, last thing on the news here: China launches a new crew for. Uh, space station with eye to putting astronauts on the moon before 2030 and i mean i'm surprised china hasn't already done this shit i don't know you know after like talking to donkey lips and just with my own findings i don't even know if we landed on the moon when we did you know i'm sure we were in a space race with whomever what was it russia or germany uh but I don't think we landed on the moon when we did. I I guess we, I assume we landed on the moon eventually. But, you know, I, I don't know why we don't, like, put stuff on the moon and, like, try to live on the moon. Like, what what's so, like, everyone's all about Mars. Why don't we fucking live on the moon? Like, move all the fat people to the moon so that they weigh less, so that they feel better about themselves, you know? Like, I'm sure if you had Lizzo performing on the moon, she could be doing backflips and shit. And it wouldn't, like, stress out her ankles so much, you know? Because I I see her performing and she goes, like, really hard. Like, I don't know if her little heart can handle that, all of that. You know what I mean? I don't think she has six hearts like a fucking cow does or whatever. I'm pretty sure she only has one. And it's uh, pumping a shit ton of blood everywhere in that body. Uh, you know, but whatever. I, I, what do I know about space traveling and Lizzo? <laughs> I just try to live my life, uh, one day at a time. And, you know, that's, I guess that's all I can do. I know, uh, it just feels like the whole world's kind of turning on the, the pride stuff, but like, it's not the pride people doing it. It's the corporations that are trying to, you know, shove it down our throats or in, in let, I don't know, in other words, indoctrinate us or whatever. And I don't know. Again, to me, it's like whatever I get it. If you, uh, you know, want to wear rainbow in support of your uh, trans friends or you're gay or whatever. So you want to fucking you know uh, wear a a bracelet that says lbgt whatever whatever but yeah like these corporations are like pandering and trying to like sell and and almost to the point where it's like oh we're trying to influence a culture you know and obviously uh a lot of people got upset about that uh you know especially whenever it happened it's happening like over and over again what with the uh, the Dylan Mulvaney and fiasco, I guess you'd call it, and then now Target, and then now like there goes Coles and PetSmart, uh, and I think uh, Google's kind of like stagnant right now. Like I think uh, everyone was up in arms because Google didn't do like a rainbow graphic on their website. It was just like gray. <laughs> like, like, like they want to stay out of this. You know what I mean? And I don't blame them. I don't know. I do not fucking blame them, but I mean, I feel like Google can do whatever the fuck it wants, you know, like it already has all of our information and shit. So why not just put fucking rainbows, you know, people aren't going to use your site any less. People are always going to fucking use Google or need to use Google. There's no, I feel like there's no avoiding it. I mean, I use Bing, but that's just me because I'm an old man who, uh, is stuck in his ways, you know, and I just like getting my news from here, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, uh, I feel like that's pretty much it, I haven't really seen any of the news, uh, something about nuclear, po- a nuclear reactor reaching 100% power out- output, uh, that's pretty cool, I didn't, I hope we'll fucking take advantage of nuclear reactors and not have some sort of fucking fallout, you know, like, uh, they did in Chernobyl, which 
If you haven't seen Chernobyl on uh, HBO, really good series. Very good series. Very well done. I don't know how real real it is to the real thing, but it's very good. And it's kind of scary when you think about that, that we almost went into like a nuclear age where that could have really like wiped out the entire, you know, fucking world and shit. Uh, maybe it should have. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we deserve to exist right now, you know. Uh, but whatever. I guess uh, that's it for today. I want to thank you for listening to uh, whatever it was we talked about. What we talked about, nuclear power. Uh, what do you think about nuclear power? Leave your likes in the comments below. What do you think about China on the moon? Leave your comments below. What do you think about uh, Lizzo doing backflips? She has a tiny heart, doesn't she? I don't think her heart can handle that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. No, I, I want to thank you for listening. Uh, like, rate, subscribe, review, share, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll keep doing what we're doing here at Funky Eskimo Productions until they cancel the word Eskimo. And then we'll probably just put asterisks or something instead. Because I think that that'll be fine. That should uh, should be fine. Yeah, that should that should cover that. But yeah, thank you all for listening. Take care and have a great uh, rest of your week. We'll be here. Bye.